what if black holes are not the ultimate destroyers of information, but rather the ultimate keepers of it? What if there is a way to recover the secrets hidden behind their event horizons? Well, a team of theoretical physicists has recently explored how a twisty theory of gravity could approach the problem of black hole hairiness. They detailed their work in a paper published in the preprint database archive in July. The paper suggests that information can escape from black holes using quantum teleportation, and that black holes have quantum hair that encodes information on their surfaces using twisters. This twisty theory of gravity could potentially solve one of the biggest mysteries in physics, the black hole information paradox. In this video, we will explain what this paradox is, how this twisty theory of gravity tries to solve it, and what it means for our understanding of the nature of space, time, and reality. To understand why this twisty theory of gravity is so revolutionary, we need to first review some of the basic concepts of black hole physics. The boundary of a black hole is called the event horizon, and it marks the point of no return for anything that falls in. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes gravity as the curvature of space and time, a black hole has only three properties, its mass, its charge, and its spin. All other details about the matter or energy that formed or entered the black hole are lost forever. This idea is known as the no-hair theorem, and it implies that black holes are very simple objects that have no structure or features. However, this idea clashes with another fundamental theory of physics, quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales. Quantum mechanics tells us that information cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed or transferred. This principle is called unitarity, and it ensures that physical processes are reversible and predictable. But if black holes destroy information, then they violate unitarity and make physical processes irreversible and unpredictable. This contradiction is known as the black hole information paradox, and it has puzzled physicists for decades. One way to illustrate the paradox is to consider what happens when two entangled particles fall into a black hole. Even when they are far apart, entanglement is a quantum phenomenon that enables two or more particles to share a quantum state. For example, if two entangled particles have opposite spins, then measuring the spin of one particle will instantly reveal the spin of the other particle, no matter how far apart they are. This spooky correlation does not violate causality or the speed of light, because it does not involve any communication or information transfer between the particles. It is just a consequence of their quantum state. To understand it better, let's suppose that Alice and Bob each have one entangled particle, and they send them into a black hole from opposite sides. According to quantum mechanics, Alice and Bob can still measure their particle's spins and find them to be correlated, even after they cross the event horizon. However, according to general relativity, once the particles cross the event horizon, they are lost forever, and nothing can escape from the black hole, not even information. So how can Alice and Bob still access their particle's information? And what happens to their entanglement? Does it break or persist? And if it persists, how does it affect the quantum state of the black hole? These are some of the questions that arise from the paradox. One possible way to resolve the paradox is to assume that information is not really lost inside black holes, but rather encoded in some subtle way on their surfaces. This idea is known as the holographic principle, and it suggests that the information content of a region of space can be described by a lower dimensional boundary of that region. For instance, a two-dimensional surface like a hologram can encode a three-dimensional volume. The holographic principle implies that space and time are not fundamental, but emerge from more fundamental degrees of freedom that live on lower dimensional boundaries. The holographic principle has been successfully applied to a special class of black holes called anti-de Sitter black holes, which exist in a negatively curved space. In this case, the information on the boundary is described by quantum field theory, which is a theory that describes the interactions of particles and fields. The remarkable correspondence between anti-de Sitter black holes and quantum field theory is known as the ADS CFT correspondence, and it has been widely used as a tool to study quantum gravity. 
which is the elusive theory that unifies general relativity and quantum mechanics. However, there is a problem with applying the holographic principle to realistic black holes, which exist in a flat or positively curved space. In this case, there is no known quantum field theory that can describe the information on the boundary and therefore no known way to recover the information from inside the black hole. This means that the holographic principle does not solve the paradox for realistic black holes unless there is a new way to encode and decode the information on their surfaces. This is where the twisty theory of gravity comes in. This theory is a new way to describe gravity that does not rely on space and time as fundamental concepts, but rather on quantum bits, qubits, of information that are entangled in a network. This new theory is based on a different approach to general relativity, which focuses on the twistiness of space-time rather than its curvature. Torsion, which is a measurement of how much space-time twists around itself, is what causes the twistiness of space-time. It can be related to the spin and angular momentum of matter and energy, and it can also affect the propagation of light and gravity waves. The twisty theory is also known as teleparallel gravity because it uses parallel transport, which is a way of moving vectors along curves without changing their direction, to define the geometry and dynamics of space-time. However, this new theory has some striking implications for black hole physics. First, it implies that black holes have more properties than just mass, charge, and spin. They also have quantum hairs, which are additional features that encode information on their surfaces using twisters. These twisters are the mathematical objects that describe the twisting of light rays around space-time. They can capture both the geometry and the dynamics of space-time in a unified way, and they can also describe quantum phenomena such as spin and entanglement. The new theory suggests that twisters are the fundamental degrees of freedom that encode information on black hole surfaces, and that they can be used to construct a quantum field theory that corresponds to realistic black holes. Second, it implies that information can escape black holes through quantum teleportation, which is a process that allows the transfer of quantum states from one location to another using entanglement and classical communication. Quantum teleportation does not violate causality or the speed of light because it requires both entanglement and classical communication to work. So the theory suggests that quantum teleportation can occur between the qubits on the black hole surface and the qubits outside the black hole using twisters as the entangled resource and Hawking radiation as the classical communication channel. Hawking radiation is the thermal radiation that black holes emit due to quantum effects near the event horizon. It also suggests that Hawking radiation is not random or thermal, but rather carries information about the quantum state of the black hole through twisters. The twisty theory of gravity is a bold and novel attempt to solve the black hole information paradox and understand the nature of quantum gravity. It is based on the idea that space and time are emergent from quantum information and that gravity is an entropic force that arises from quantum entanglement. It also proposes that black holes have quantum hair that encodes information on their surfaces using twisters and that information can escape black holes through quantum teleportation using twisters and Hawking radiation. This theory has some advantages over other approaches to quantum gravity, such as string theory or loop quantum gravity. For example, it does not require extra dimensions or exotic objects like strings or loops, but rather uses familiar concepts like qubits and twisters. It also does not require any modification or extension of general relativity or quantum mechanics, but rather uses them as limiting cases of a more general framework. It also does not require any fine-tuning or ad hoc assumptions, but rather derives its results from first principles. However, it also has some disadvantages and challenges. For example, it is still in its early stages and has not been fully developed or tested yet. It also faces some conceptual and technical difficulties, such as how to define entropy and temperature for black holes in this framework, how to deal with singularities and wormholes, how to avoid causality violations and paradoxes, how to incorporate matter and energy into this picture, how to reconcile it with other theories and observations, etc. It is not yet accepted by most physicists as a valid or viable theory of quantum gravity, and it still needs to undergo rigorous scrutiny and peer review by other experts in the field. It also needs to make testable predictions that can be verified or falsified by experiments or observations. 
Some possible ways to test the twisty theory of gravity are to look for signatures of torsion or quantum hair in gravitational waves or electromagnetic radiation from black holes, or to look for deviations from general relativity or quantum mechanics in the presence of black holes. These are some of the ways that the twisty theory of gravity could be confirmed or falsified in the future. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on physics and astronomy. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.